Hello everyone and welcome. Today's video is an overview of the steel member design using space gas. Using the analyzed model from the previous video, we will now perform a steel member design. Before a design or check can be carried out, extra information about flange restraints, effective lengths and so forth must be input. Let's start by defining the extra information for the left column. We can do this by right-clicking the left column and then selecting Input Edit Steel Member from the pop-up menu. The information in this form is fully explained in the help system and in the steel design videos. However, in this overview, we will just input the basic information. The steel member number identifies the steel member and must be unique. We will leave it unchanged. Next, we will type in the optional member description. The member list field contains the list of analysis members that form the design member. In this case, the left column consists of just one analysis member, member 12. It doesn't need to be changed because we selected it graphically. The compression effective lengths for buckling about the major axis and minor axis can be defined manually or calculated automatically from a buckling analysis. We must also state whether or not the design member is braced in position at its ends. Next, we can specify the bending effective lengths manually, or they can be calculated by space gas based on the flange restraints that we can specify below. Let's assume we have equally spaced girts that provide restraint to the outside flange of the column and a single fly brace on the inside flange. For each flange, we must also specify the flange restraint types. We will assume full end restraints and lateral intermediate restraints. The remainder of the data fields will be left unchanged for the purposes of this exercise and we can therefore exit and save the data. The steel design data has already been input for the other members in the model and so we will skip them in this video. Note that there are a number of tools available that help in the automation of this process. Turning on the steel members from the side toolbar lets us see each steel member as a thick grey line that finishes just short of its end nodes. Often a steel member will consist of multiple analysis members connected end to end, as is the case with the curved rafter in this model. You can also turn on a visual representation of the flange restraints we just defined for both flanges of the left column together with the flange restraints for the other members in the model. The next video demonstrates how to run the steel member design. 